Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to look at how to create your first customs declaration using the Android Customs Declarations app developed by the UPU. For instruction on how to install the application, please watch our previous video. The link will be in the description below. Just a little bit of background before we get started with the demo. So capturing an electronic customs declaration is already mandatory for EMS items and will become mandatory from 1st of January 2021 for all items containing goods. This is a UPU regulation that will therefore apply for EMS, parcels and small packets. So this is tracked and non-tracked letters containing goods. Data capture is going to represent a considerable amount of time spent at the counter by the postal staff which is why the UPU has developed various solutions to allow the general public and enterprises to capture electronic declaration autonomously. The general public will be able to capture declaration data using either the Android Customs Declaration app, which we will demonstrate in the present video, or the CDS kiosk webpage, which we will link in the description below. Both these applications allow the general public to perform this time-consuming data capture autonomously and then present themselves to the counter with a reference to this data. This is what we're going to cover today. To get started with the Customs Declarations application, simply tap on it and you will see that you'll be presented with three separate icons at the bottom of the application. For the time being, we will use the central one, the Declare icon to start creating a blank declaration. So you'll simply click on start blank declaration and then capture your own details. So the sender's details. So in my case, I'll type my name and my address data. And as you will see that I type the name of the street, in my case, the street where the UPU is located, the software will pick up the full address. If you click on the suggestion, the software will capture automatically some of the fields below. You then get the chance to capture your email address. This is an optional field. As well as your phone number. Again, this is an optional field. You can also optionally capture a sender's customs reference number. In my case, I'll skip this field and I'll go to the next screen. The next screen will give you the chance to capture all of the recipient details in a similar fashion to the first screen. So in my case, I'll send an item to my friend John in the UK. Then I can capture the address of my friend So by just selecting a few key words of his address, the system will automatically pick up a suggestion and it knows now that I'm about to send something to the UK. So if I click on this first suggestion, it will automatically select most of the fields below and I just need to select the missing ones. Once again, you get a chance to capture optional fields like the email address of the recipient and the phone number of the recipient. The last field again is optional and this will be the imported tax reference number if you have it. In my case I'll skip that field once again and I'll move on to the third screen. In this screen, you'll get the opportunity to capture the content of this mail item. So this is what we call a content piece. You may have more than one content pieces within a single item. In my case, I'm going to decide to send three chocolate bars to my friend John. So I'll add a single content piece by pressing add item. And I'll describe what is actually in the box. So here, I select the quantity to be three. I select a description in natural language 
and then I can tap into this uh, field called HS code. So HS code stands for Harmonize System, and this will be a code that will be recognized by the customs organization of the destination country. So I'll simply tap into this field and I will get several suggestions regarding the description in natural language that I've just captured up above. Next, I will describe the value of this mail item that I'm sending to my friend and I'll have to describe also the currency in which I describe that value as well as providing the weight for such an item. Once I'm finished with this page, I'll simply press continue. So again, if I had more than one content pieces in this particular mail item, I would simply press add item and carry on with exactly the same process for a second content piece. Once I'm finished describing the content pieces in that particular mail item, I can press next to move on to the next screen. In the next screen, you'll have to supply details about what is the category of this mail item. So in my case, I'll simply describe the fact that it is a gift from myself to my friend John. You can also describe many other types of uh, category of items. If you select other, you will have to specify manually what category of item this is. You also get to supply some comments. Uh, this is an optional field as well as providing references to documents that are inside this uh, mail item. So you can pop open this menu and describe what document it is that are contained in that box. So as you can see, you can provide details regarding an invoice, a license or a certificate. In my case, I don't need to supply any document, so I'll simply press next and move on to the next screen. The next screen will allow you to review any potential prohibition or restriction placed by the UK against this particular content piece that you're sending to this country. In my case, there are no prohibition or restriction associated with chocolate in the UK, so I'll simply press next to move on to the next screen. In this screen, you'll simply have to certify that you're not sending any dangerous goods to the UK by simply pressing that box and pressing the button sign. In this final screen, you get to review all the details that you've captured so far for your declaration and make sure that you're happy with it before it gets submitted to your postal operator. So if you're happy with the result, you simply press the button done and then you'll need to make a note of the temporary number that comes out of the system after you press done. So you'll see down the bottom of the screen, you get this 222 CH temporary number that you will need to make a record of before you present yourself to the counter. You have now successfully captured your very first electronic customs declaration and you are now ready to present yourself to the counter of the origin post. If you wish to review all the customs declarations that you've captured so far, you simply press the search button that will provide you with a list of all the customs declaration, including this temporary code that you'll have to present to the counter staff. Please don't hesitate to contact our support team. The email address will be in the description below to start trialing the customs declaration app in your own country. In the next video, we'll see how to retrieve in our customs declaration system, the CDS system, this temporary number provided by the app and how to make use of it in the CDS system itself. Thanks for watching.